two. Hello, this is your host, Ethan Klein, of the H3 Podcast Experience Live, formerly live. <laughs> the name is H3 Podcast Experience, formerly live. Nice. Or no, it should be formerly live as the H3 Podcast Experience. Hila, my beautiful co-host, having a good hair day today. Thank you. You says you think you look bad. I, I do. Think your hair, you are, you are having a bomb hair day, dude. I saw myself for a brief second and I was like, ugh. I look awful. It must be hard to be like actually attractive because you have some expectation for yourself. Me, when I see myself, I have no expectation and I have, and I have no judgment because it's always bad. <laughs> Because like not. you're like, oh, I'm an attractive person. I expect it to look like kind of good when I see myself. So I'm rock bottom, and I expect only the worst. So I, I'm not. You're paid not rock it. bottom. Trust me, baby. You are not. You got not. I got you. Hey, hey nothing faces me. Okay, that's good. But uh... TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Oh, I love Friday. I get to spend some time with Theodore. I get to not sleep. I get to just hang out. <laughs> you know, mm, love the weekends. Oh, we're getting a new dog too. Yeah, next week on Tuesday, a little white Yorkie. Yorkie that we, my mom sent us a picture of this guy from the animal shelter, and we drove an hour and a half to go to go rescue him. And he's this sweet, sweet little thing, sweet little white Yorkie, just shredder size in his age. <laughs> and so on Tuesday, we're gonna go pick him up and bring him home. He's a white Yorkie, he didn't have a name, so we're calling him Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, who you kidding? Alfredo sauce. Thank you to DoorDash and Quip for sponsoring this episode. Also, on Tuesday of next week, we're having Mick West coming on. He's a skeptical investigator that investigates and debunks conspiracy theories. Very excited, actually. I think that's right down my alley. Mm-hmm. I'd like I, to hear what he has to say about a lot of things. Yeah. Epstein, at the foremost of it. I gotta ask him about the Tupac. Is Tupac is alive? Is he alive yes or, or not? not? He's like, no. I'm like, all right, well, this interview's over. Get out. <laughs> you know? Give me a break. <laughs> uh, can you put up a thread, Dan, for people to leave questions for him on the Reddit? Oh, uh, so, yeah. sure. Thank you. Um, so that's I'm looking forward to that. On Tuesday, we're going to be getting the scooter next week, the Gatsby, the great Gatsby. I'm going to be looking forward to that. Now, we reported on World of Warcraft Classic coming <laughs> back last week. Oh and I was God. very excited to try it out. I was like, you know, everyone's playing. It's going to be fun. Then you can have this vibrant community. So me and Ela both download the game. And I was proud of myself because I was very open-minded. You were very open-minded. That is not my shit at all, this you kind were, of game. You were too open-minded. It scared me because <laughs> I see... <laughs> The wow, wow claims every soul. People like you are exactly who wow gets. Perfect mind. Exactly. Because you're like, oh, I'm just going to try it. I'm open-minded. I've never played video games. And then all of a sudden, you're like a 90 level, a uh, level 90. Uh, Rating. Yeah. And I never see you again. So we got it. Then we made characters. By the way, all the female characters suck. Yeah, they're really boring. I cannot stand how females are in the in video games like like a 12 year old kids fantasy is this gamergate i didn't think i would go there but um kind of they're just it's i not actually that, cannot stand female characters in video games i really can't it's not that they were all sexy looking but they were just really boring it's like not the that they're sexy looking but they are yeah they there's are. always like oh boobs and titties. like they barely wear anything above the boobs that's just it. normal <laughs> it's like a undead that's just how we dress yeah, that's how women dress. That's how they <laughs> should dress. Exactly. There's like these undead zombie characters. Their jaws are falling off. They're de they're decomposing in before you, but they yeah. still have fat, luscious titties. So that was the character that <laughs> I wanted. And then you look at the male character, and they look so cool. Yeah. They're like scary and cool looking. Oh yeah. The babe. female just boobs. Titties are you discount the coolness of titties though. <laughs> Titties come for a lot. I picked the male character. Ethan wanted us to be male and female. I was like, sorry, we're going to be two males. That's fine. I can't do it. That's fine. But, you know, in fe in these games, the females, a lot of dudes will play females and pretend <laughs> to be female so that they can get free See, shit from all the incels on WoW. Oh, wow. So there is, there is the kind of like... The character I made is female. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. 
then. Does she have fat titties? Uh, yeah. She she does not have fat titties, as far as I could tell. No, I actually I pick. I I mean, of course you're you're entitled to feel that way. I actually think the female models in that game look a lot better than the male ones. I think the male what? ones look what? boring. No, no. There's no. no that's, that's a dumb. No comment. freaking way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's ins- I, I I refute that in its entirety. So how long do you play for? Okay, so we both. So I I knew that there was a free trial. And so I go to play Classic, and they're like, oh, you need to buy the game. I was like, of course, Blizzard. So we buy, we activate two accounts. We drop 30 bucks, and we're, we both pick Tarin, and we're going, and we're killing some, uh, quails. Not boars in Thunder Bluff. It's like feather quails. Some kind mm-hmm. of ostrich-looking thing. We do one quest, and I'm getting so anxious. Because I'm having flashbacks, I'm having sweat, I'm like, dude, I have shit to do, I'm trying to run a business, I'm trying to run a, a, a podcast, you know, and I'm seeing Hila there all open-minded and playing, <laughs> and she's starting to have fun a little bit, and I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> I cannot do this. I started getting super anxious. You did, and I was not, I didn't even understand what was going on. Like, I'm, I thought I wasn't going to like it, and I was kind of enjoying it. But you were looking like you just saw the devil. Because, yeah, I did. <laughs> because, first of all, you were open-minded and enjoying it. And then I was just seeing our... I was like, we just had a kid. We're trying to work. I'm telling you, Ela, there's not there is not space in her life for World of Warcraft right now. And there was a new episode of uh, Bachelor in Paradise. And I'm like, we're not watching Bachelor in Paradise. I, I don't know. It just didn't feel right. I, and Ela, you raise a good point. When we're sixty years old and we're retired, yeah, that was what I said. Then we can set up a gaming den for the two of us. Yeah, but those days are behind. I, I wish I knew you during those days. I can't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. I can play console games. I can play casual games. MMOs, that's not my mo. So right? then, did you get to play? Yeah, I've been playing. Oh, you did. Yeah. Does it make you anxious? Uh, no, but I don't have a child, so I'm a little less responsibility. <laughs> the kid really puts it over the top, but the job, the kid, everything. The dog. Oh, Shredder. Oh, it, yeah, Shredder. Shredder. so sad and confused. He couldn't stand us playing. He was <laughs> staring at, at us like, what is wrong with you guys? What are you because doing? he wants to play all the time, and he's bored, and and then me and Eli are sitting at the table just staring at our laptops. <laughs> and he was and he's like, upset. what is going on here? <laughs> I'm telling you, everything in the universe was pulling me away. I saw myself like lighting up like a, like a crack pipe or smoke, smoke a crystal meth or something, and I like hit it once, and I was like, "Oh, baby, I'm gonna enjoy this too much." Or like about to shoot up heroin, and I was like, "Ooh, mama, this feels too good." Yeah, I haven't seen you that anxious in, I don't know, I don't even know when you've been that anxious. I couldn't do it. I wish I could. There'll be a day someday. The kids go off to college, we're retired, and then it's like, don't call me between these hours, Theodore. <laughs> me and your mom are raving. I look forward to that. That'll be great. And then it's just like pizza and heart disease. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? High cholesterol, Lipitor. Yeah. That's a dream. Doctor visits and wow. Just like tons of pills, you know? AARP, what's that, Zach? ARP. It's what? like you can apply for that when you're 65. Oh, yeah, ARP. Hmm. Mm, look, I have so much to look forward to. <laughs> oh, that's like uh, old old fucks when you get your pension from the government. Sure, yeah. Mm. Fast forward. I'd like to skip the next 30 years of my life, please. <laughs> you ever feel like that? You're like, can I just go into a coma for 30 years? <laughs> just waste the <laughs> best years of my life? Skip to the end. Are you going to ride the Gatsby? Yeah, dude. Come on, you think I'm gonna be driving in a car? I'm gonna be like 400 pounds. I'll have, di- I'll have lost a leg to diabetes. All right, let's move on. Okay. So anyway, wow, I tried it, couldn't do it. But here's something that I think I could do. We've talked about world records on the show before, and we hold them in high regard. These are athletes. These are accom- accomplished people. They've achieved what no other human could achieve. Mm-hmm. The Guinness World Records. Huh. It's like uh, such a coveted title. And so when I came across this, the Lean Mean Mayo Machine, 
Michelle Lesko bre- <laughs> breaks the world record for eating the most mayo in a minute. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, this is the best of the best, people. Here, there's a little uh, biopic about her, even. Being, being as that it's just such an epic adventure that I thought we could watch together. So, feast your eyes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get claimed. Hello? Oh, sh- Can you fucking... Well, it's under Wait, seven the, seconds. Wait, the new... Lo- yeah, yeah, the new role. Yeah, I caught it. We can't do yeah. this. Get out of here. All right, let's get to the mail. So... She has a spaghetti eating championship. She, it's spaghetti. Here. Oh, there's no sound? Turned it down. Oh, you did that. I, let's see if there's music here. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of like hardcore metal. So you can turn the music off. But let's let's see her devour this bowl of spaghetti. It's so crazy. It's like she just puts stuff in her in her mouth and it disappears. Like there's <laughs> n- there's no like a garbage chewing. disposal. Black there's hole. No That's swallowing. pretty impressive, actually. Maybe she's just hungry. Oh, there's a little sauce in the corner there. The dude's like a little fucking sauce. You believe that these guys? Twenty eight seconds. We're so proud of you, Michelle. Here she is with her jars of mayonnaise. <laughs> so oh, we're measuring. She does hot dogs first before the mayonnaise. Oh, that's exciting. And um, on the first try, she doesn't break the record, but then she gets, they get three tries or something like that. Oh, for real? Yeah, on the second one she does. So fastest hot dog in the game. Here, try to, let's get some volume. Quickly, just right, test. Best of luck. Three, Put it out, two, drop it, drop it, drop it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, no hands? What? Yeah, no hands. Like, I'm saying, these records are just so... <laughs> it's like, fastest hot dog. Fastest hot dog with no hands. Fastest hot dog under a minute. No, these are w- records that already exist. Sure, <laughs> And yeah. she's breaking them. Like, no hands. I mean, who fucking... like? So, she kind of took too long. Oh, yeah, that was weak. I feel like I could, eat, I could beat that record. Do you see how she does it, though? There's no chewing, no nothing. Kind of inhales. Yeah, I've never she seen has a that. talent. Yeah, she's got like a gene mutation that she's putting to the best use possible. Okay, there there's some hotly debated uh, words being exchanged between the judge and contestant. So here she goes. This is, this is the world uh, record, guys. So don't blink. I love how she's sitting there with the three jars of mayonnaise. Okay, there you go. Yeah, wow, incredible. Really, what a what an athlete. What an athlete. But enough with the bullshit. Let's get to the main show. <laughs> you know? This is the real show. Dan, hit me with the volume. So the record she's going for is the most mayonnaise. Yes, I am ready. Have you start with your hands flat on the table okay. as you have? And best of luck. Three. Zach, this two, is you two days one, ago. Go. Horsey sauce. Say horsey. <laughs> okay, she's got a huge spoon, like God, a huge I, I can't watch it. serving spoon. <laughs> I love mayo. That much? Of course you do. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. You said you love horsey sauce and you get it <laughs> after eating two packets. <laughs> well, that was the Arby's. Dude, she is fucking eating. She just ate a whole jar of mayonnaise. I'm, I'm nauseous. This no, is, it genuinely makes that? me gag. I can't watch. Like, I will throw up. <laughs> it's so disgusting. I would totally do that. <laughs> mayonnaise is such a weird thing because by itself, it's so putrid. On a sandwich, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. But also too much mayonnaise on the sandwich? I like it. I gotta throw it out. Dude, she loves mayonnaise. Look at her go. Oh, God. Why mayonnaise? Why could it be something else? I like that. Yeah, this world's a... She's a champion. She's a true athlete. I like that. (laughs) I don't think Shunice could do what she does. No, she's an athlete. Shunice is an entertainer. She's an athlete. There's a difference. (laughs) I love how tense it is. Look at the... Look at the... uh, Look at the judge. She's not <laughs> ga- she's not in a gagging. She's got to nope. make sure she's not cheating. She can't look away. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> How do you even find out that you're good at this? You know? I mean, is that even a record that you would be proud to hold? Like so much. I would try this. No, you wouldn't, Zach. I Get would. it. Do we have some mayonnaise? Get Zach. All right. All right. All right, Zach. Zach. We got some mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm serious. Let's set it up. Do we have mayonnaise in the fridge? Dan's looking. I don't know how old it is if we do. And you won't taste it anyway. Aged mayonnaise. Miracle Whip, mayo, she, all that. She had to slow down, man. Yeah, she does slow down. She's 
She's still got a quite a pace. I'm so sick right now. <laughs> this is so fucking disgusting. You nasty, nasty girl. Put those skills to a better use. I don't know what, but not this. Not this. Do you see how it just goes in her mouth and it's gone? Zach, are you turned on at all, or what's you? What no, nah, not right turned now? on. I'm kind of hungry though. I don't believe you. <laughs> you just want airtime, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll put you- I mean, I like to watch that, regardless. <laughs> She's getting full, guys. What happens to your body? Consume so much Can imagine mayonnaise? what a mayonnaise shit looks like. Dude, four <laughs> jars of mayonnaise? Oh. What does that look- It's just gotta be diarrhea. There's oh, no way yeah. your body can process that. Oh my god. She goes, I'm getting full. She ate too fast. She's got too much How time How much left. calories is that? <laughs> Dude, I, God, no. A hundred thousand? I mean, I don't know. Like, it's a very... She's slowed down. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You can stop now. You Why? Can, pick, oh, you're telling her. Look at her. She's... <laughs> you're good. Stop. Imagine what that puke would look like. Oops. Great. <sighs> this is like the this weirdest I, porn I've ever seen. Guinness World Record book is this with the weirdest porn you've ever seen? Titles, and I'm amongst oh, them. No. I think it's going to be super exciting. <laughs> well, and guys, here we go. She's crunching the number. For all my friends for Christmas, but don't tell them. Why does this look like it was shot in like a conference hall of the Holiday Inn? Michelle, today you attempted the record. It's definitely a hotel room. It is. It oh was. no, this is so ghetto. This is so porn like. Well, it's very porn like. The since the situation. Maybe, but I was kind of impressed with the channel. They oh. have like this video. They have it about other Guinness holders. Dude, this is underground too. This is only fifty thousand views. Like, yeah. I want to know what's what else is on that channel. Mm -hmm. We're doing our research. We're gonna find some other good shit. <sighs> they checked out at a motel. They set up a table. Looking at the curtain, probably because there's like cheap decorations all over. <laughs> the curtain was the only like blank shot. This is a pornography. This is a mayo eating porn. But this is so much better than just reading about it in the book. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. For sure. <laughs> there, nothing could do this justice. It really did make me gag at one point, though. I had to look away. Dan, like, do we I have mayo in the up. fridge? So, we do. I don't know if... Can I, you Postmates a, uh, <laughs> uh, a big jar of mayo? We got, if you can see, this is some, some olive oil mayo. No. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to Zach. I feel like that's Let's Postmate it. Zach, if we Postmates it, will you eat it? How big of a jar are we talking about? Well, I mean, well, you do now what you're you can. backing down. What are you capable you you of? Yeah. Talking yeah. a big talk a second ago. We'll get a big jar. You eat what you can. Yeah, sure. I'd try one. Okay, Should, let's get. Uh, let's post. So my, just one jar. A big. Well, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. Exact. I'm gonna be real. I don't think I can do. I'm gonna take three bites and like. Oh, dude, you, <laughs> you, you better finish that jar because it's gonna cost me like <laughs> I, twenty I can, bucks. I can do one jar, but I don't think I can do fucking ten of them. No, not you, ten. Oh, if but you, you can do one jar. Uh, here's the th okay, Zach. We have to put something on the line. The jar Dan, is a post, lot. Postmates a jar of mayo. I'm working on it. Okay, we got to make it worth Zach's while. We need to put a, a prize up for him. If mm -hmm. he can finish a jar of mayonnaise, what does he earn? I'll tell you right now. If you how much yeah. are we, if if you finish a whole jar of mayonnaise, Zach, I'll give you five hundred dollars. <laughs> Get out. I swear to God, I'll give you five hundred dollars if you finish a whole jar of mayonnaise here today on this show. Okay. But you got to finish the whole fucking thing, dude. I'm not okay. fucking around, and I'm not gonna be pitying you. I'm not gonna give you like pity money either. I I clean. wouldn't I wouldn't do it for the money. I would just I was just gonna do it for the show. Love of the game. Yeah. But it's more exciting. I don't want you. you know. So what kind of jar? Yeah, this what size or? Yeah, the... this size. This size. That's like you know the standard. The standard. Yeah, standard shit. I'm excited. Well, we have okay. got a spectacular end of the show today. <laughs> 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 I I do love Zach. I love his willingness to get in there for the show. You know. None of you fuckers would eat mayonnaise. Nope. Dan and Ian. No way. <laughs> I'm surprised that Dan, I'm surprised that you're still so sensitive after all the stuff we watch here. I you know? Mayo in particular, I don't know. <laughs> that just, and I'm, I'm with you. I like a little bit of mayo on a sandwich. You know, yeah. I, I don't hate mayo, but something about just a it's scoop gross. of it. Oh my God. It well, just makes me gag. How do you feel? I've seen people eat <laughs> sticks of butter. How do you feel about that? I mean, not that's bad. It's not as bad. Mayo? I feel like about it's not as bad There's something about mayo. mayo. Yeah, yeah, there's mayo. something special it's about so mayo. It's pungent. And yeah. like. Disgusting. Okay, Zach. You've got the talent. <laughs> it's on. I'm excited. I don't think you'll be able to do it. 
I think my money's safe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate your valiant, yeah. your valiant tree. He is willing. You think you're going to do it, Zach? I don't know. I'm going to try. Okay. Well, so if he if he vomits, is that disqualification? Yeah, because you can't keep you can't vomit and then. How keep does it work in Fear Factor? They yeah. can't vomit, right? They if they vomit, after. they're out. Yep. After they complete the challenge, they can vomit. Yeah. If you vomit during, you're yeah. out. Yeah. So that that let's follow the Fear Factor. Yeah. Rules. If because the thing is, once you vomit, you're done. So if you've already finished the jar, you can vomit, yeah. and that's fine. Okay, Zach. Deal. <laughs> Good question, Ian. This is exciting. Mm, Five hundred bucks. It's a lot of uh, mayo. <laughs> I'm excited. This is great. This is, dude, who's, who says that? Wait, wait, wait. You gotta watch how much she broke the record. Oh, fuck. All right. This is exciting. Who could ever say that we don't push the envelope here at the H3 podcast? <laughs> I mean, look at us. We're, we're this is the interactive. We're, we're moving, we're moving, we're jiving, we're slamming. Do we have a big spoon like that, Dan? Uh, I'll have to check. I mean, Postmates. Postmates. <laughs> Just say giant spoon. Okay. Let's see what we get. A serving spoon. Okay, you gotta you gotta watch yada, the part yada, where yada. she tells her the, the record. Okay, 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 yeah. Open up a Guinness World Record this. book with all the Guinness World Record titles and I'm amongst them. I think it's gonna be super exciting and I'm gonna buy even if it's for eating mayonnaise for Christmas, but don't tell them because it's a surprise. Michelle. Today you attempted the record for the most mayonnaise eaten in three minutes. This angle is so To funny. achieve this record, you needed to exceed a weight of 850.5 grams. Okay. In today's attempt, you consumed 2,448 grams of mayonnaise, which record. is a new Guinness World Records title. Congratulations! <laughs> she, goes, she goes, I'm going to buy a Guinness book for my kids to surprise them for Christmas, but don't tell them. Imagine these kids trying to brag about this at school. My mom's in the Guinness book. <laughs> really? Wow, what for? Eating the most mayonnaise in a minute. Well. Wow. That is kind of dope, though. As a kid, I you're like, like oh, kid, yeah. shit, let me see that. <laughs> I wonder if she busts that out for the kids at home. She's like, hey, kids. <laughs> oh, we got so much to get to. We got the mayonnaise. Dan, let me know when that's on the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm ordering right now. Bradbury and Raw We Trust. So Ethan Bradbury is taking the Raw meme, always elevating his game. And this new video blew me away. He broke his leg. I don't know what happened. He's in a wheelchair. And now he's like what Ian described it as Rawception. Mm -hmm. And I do think that's a great describer because it's like in a dream. It's like two layers of dreams. And first of all, he did the intro at the beginning, so that's pretty epic. <laughs> now, they took a lot of our ideas and mm. uh, suggestions. Including the intro at the beginning. Yeah, and, then and, and more. This is 12 minutes later. I do not think we're going to be able to watch this whole thing. <laughs> but I love the Bradbury Owl. <laughs> Second intro. <laughs> Third intro. Totally took that. Oh man. <laughs> do you not smell fast food? I do. This whole office so smells weird. like fast food forever. Dude, his hair's kind of getting out of control. <laughs> so he's dreaming now. He's in the hospital and he's dreaming that he's on a horse. What is this? <laughs> what? Why am I on a horse? He's going for the Oscar. <laughs> mm. I really, there's really no um, explanation. How did you get a hold of a horse in the middle of fucking New York City? I mean, that's pretty epic. I, is that legal to cruise around on a horse in the city? I don't know. It's just in the street, too. There's no, there's, there's no logic. <laughs> There's really no sense. Where my guys at? It's art, Ethan. I got the new way to come you. I, mean, I got it really is. <laughs> if you don't get it, you just don't get it. What can I say? You don't, hey, you don't trust in a rock. Bruno! Where's Bruno? There's Bruno. 
There you go, Bruno. Where you been? Come on, we got a gun. Is, is Ethan Bradbury, like, trained enough to be riding a horse in the city? Because hmm. horses can be kind of unruly and they can run. You kind of got to know what you're doing, but apparently he, he he's qualified. They could kick someone in the face and kill him. It was a nightmare. <laughs> apparently it's a nightmare. <laughs> Hey, hey, oh. So wait, this is, he's still in a dream. <laughs> so he's still dreaming and they're at the coffee shop with the raw. There's, this is really just 12 minutes of <laughs> wild abstract art. <laughs> they're sniffing the raw on the counter. Bruno's ready to take a line of that shit, man. <laughs> Oh, they are doing it like it's cocaine. Yeah. What are they doing? They're at a restaurant. They're making a total mess. <laughs> They're at a coffee store. <laughs> Imagine working at that coffee um, place. <laughs> Dude, oh how my does God. he enlist his friends to do this shit? Like, it doesn't even make sense. How do you even explain it to them? You know why? Because they trust him wrong. I don't. Exactly. That's true. Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. There he comes. Here comes the king, baby. In the wheelchair. He's still dreaming, by the way. Oh, yeah? Who's the guy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> the guy, huh? Oh. Everyone's <laughs> turned and looking at Bradbury. And that's that. We're gonna go out and search for it. I got Buno to the front of me with a Mo and Johnny. I tell the rear of Buno. I got a barrage, huh? Forget about it. And I got a box team. Buckwitz, Buckman, Buckwitz, four souls in one person. With a <laughs> I love the four souls huh? in one person. Dan pointed that out to me. <laughs> nice catch. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really got to watch this like five times to catch all the... <laughs> I really feel, you know, I'm walking around the office and at home and all the time. It's forget about it. Who you getting, huh? And I really think that Ethan Bradbury is somewhat of a creative genius, but he's untamed, much like like a horse, if I can say. He's a wild horse. And if he could just package his ideas better or maybe convey uh -huh. with a little more clarity, I think that he, there could be something special there. Mm -hmm. But what we have here is 13 minutes of pure... Uh, raw Bradbury. It's pure raw. <laughs> we need refined, baby. We need some cream and sugar in this. <laughs> Forget about it. And Andy Joe Reach. God. Four souls and one body. That's what we got going on over here. <laughs> Who you get? A what are you rabbit at? Mine, come on. Forget about it. Jeez! Tell the raw this day I'm moving forward. God, bitch. God, bitch. And Oh, he's still Bruno. dreaming. Bruno. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> not actually Bruno. happening, guys. Listen to me carefully, huh? I want you hanging around Johnny. A mother called me the other day. She mm. tells me she's seen you again. Tap dancing on a beefcake under the Verrazano Bridge. Forget about it. Tap dancing on a beefcake? What does that mean? <laughs> no idea. Under the Verrazano Bridge. Does that mean gay? Tap dancing with a beefcake under the bridge. <laughs> what could that possibly mean? <laughs> And he's confronting him like he did something wrong, right? Like he's doing a Godfather scene where he's looking over the city and he's got to do a hit mm -hmm. on somebody. You know? So what do you out of your rabbit ass mind? <laughs> you gotta stay focused on this mission in the heart of Brooklyn Road in New York City. For the rules of the world. It's a nice feel, I gotta God give it to him. <laughs> and we get it going. Capish? Tasta. Everyone goes, capiche. <laughs> oh man, this shit's crazy. I mean, there's, there's, in his mind, I feel like there's a narrative. Here. I know, and I can't That's follow. That's brilliant. Like, it's, what is it? <laughs> it's unbelievable. And he went through all the effort, too, all the world to make this happen. Nice. <laughs> oh no, he's having a bad dream. I smell Taco Bell. I'm not kidding. We need the men spreading camera. <laughs> oh, we're at a break then. Oh, so here's the idea we pitched to him. We can wrap it up here. They brought the generator. 
so last time we were saying like they were carrying a coffee machine with them and it wasn't plugged to anything. You can't even do it. Anymore. By the time they got to their raw shop, the raw was cold. So, so we recommend so. to get a power generator <laughs> and <he> deliver. <laughs> so they got this huge power generator, gas powered. <laughs> So that they can have raw in the middle of the street. Now they go into a coffee shop and they start doing that with the generator. Do they really? Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> this is quality content. Bro. Oh, we got a little got subliminal secret. message. Too. Yeah, secret message. All right, we gotta go to the subliminal shit. He says, "Here you guys go. Feast your eyes on the mind of Bradbury. I'm seeing fingers everywhere, but none of them are slamming the regular." <laughs> May we all get together someday in the perfect world and slam the regular raw ritual with great essence. You're good old folk, Ethan Bradbury. Yeah. He, I think he's really happy that we're <laughs> dissecting this like uh, Citizen Kane, you know? We don't miss a frame. Hey, we making some raw before we go in the raw shop, huh? Come on. Well, we're Come gonna on. Give I don't think he brings it in. Feet. Oh, he does. Okay. <laughs> I feel like they don't realize it's funny. Like the generator. I don't like I feel like they don't realize that it's funny. Because they they got to like make it But that's what's funny. Isn't it? When they don't realize what's funny. I just I want people to watch his videos. But I'm not sure how to help him. Cuz right now it only has 5000 views. I think, he... I think the uh... I should shoot and edit a video for him. Yeah. That'd be. Oh, that, that would be. I think it needs to be his idea. He needs to tell me his creative vision, tell me the story, and then I'll and help then him shoot you... and, edit and tell the story, you know, yeah. visually. <laughs> like the raw father. Like he's the godfather, <laughs> but he's the raw father. And so I think there's a collaboration here. The Raw Father. And dude, wouldn't that be so epic to post it on our main channel? <laughs> People would just be like, what? I don't know, though. It's a big commitment. <laughs> I'm not as, as committed to him as, as he is. All right, we got to take a break. We're going on too long. How long has it been? Can we just watch the part in the shop? Uh, it's 32. We're two minutes over break time. So, okay, here they are, yada, yada, yada. So... They go into the shop with the Okay, watch this, uh, watch this shot. Epic. Why is he wearing a airplane? <laughs> That's their little brother. Is wearing the <laughs> airplane, airplane pillow. pillow yeah. <laughs> That's the new uh, <laughs> hype beast. Look yeah. So. Okay. Nice shot, Dennis. Uh... Dennis always showing off that ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, here. Just, let's take a break. Okay. I don't want to rush through this. All this right. is too precious. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We're gonna keep staying in the raw. Mm -hmm. Abish. Today we are sponsored by DoorDash, and I'm going to give you a brief summary of this offer to get you going. $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app. You use promo code H3, and you get $5 off your beautiful restaurants that you love. That's it, baby. Let's get eaten. Now, here's the long version. Why cook? Oh, uh, they, go, they got all this shit. Oh, a long day? Tough day at school? Don't have time? No, 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 no. Why cook ever? <laughs> That's a waste of time. It's BS. By the time you get all the groceries and you make the meal, it's going to cost you more anyway. That's why you need DoorDash. DoorDash connects you to your favorite restaurant in your city. Ordering is easy. You open the app. Choose what you want to eat. Your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. Not only is your favorite pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there are over 340,000 restaurants in 3,300 cities, so you might find a few new favorites as well. With DoorDash door-to-door -door delivery in over 50 states in Canada, you can order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A. Uh, I'm going to black that out. Popeye's maybe right that. And the Cheesecake Factory. Don't worry about dinner. Let dinner come to you with DoorDash. Now, let me tell you one more time right now. For our listeners, you can get $5 off your first order for just of $15 or more. Was that clear? $5 off. Your first order of $15 or more 
when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code H3. That's $5 for free when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store and enter promo code H3. Don't forget, that's promo code H3 for $5 off your first frickin' order from DoorDash. You're back to school. Your breath stinks. Your mouth is disgusting. Nobody wants to even look at you, let alone get close enough to you to smell your disgusting breath. Does that sound all too familiar? Yes. Well, let me introduce you to Quip. Get Quip.com slash H3. Too dramatic? Or maybe you just want clean teeth. Too real. Too real. I'll tell you what I... Oh, black? Look at this one. Mm. Man, that's slick. You don't even see me brushing my teeth in the dark. <laughs> let me tell you about Quip. It's a vibrating tube. It's powerful. It's soft. It gets you clean in a way that no other toothbrush can. And it times you out to make sure you're getting that perfect denti- dentist recommended brush. There's nothing like it on the market. That's why Oprah orgasmed when she said, oh, she has got a thing called the O list. And she goes, oh, I love my qu- vibrating tube. Mm-hmm. And also it's multi-purpose. You can put it in your uh-huh. O list. Put it in <laughs> your O list. No, but, it, but primarily it's good for the mouth. Other orifices you can explore on your own time. The Quip is a toothbrush. I swear to God, I don't use any other toothbrush. The bristles are so soft. I have a problem. It's, your gums don't grow back. You do not want to damage your gums. This has this really interesting rubbery soft bristles that I've never felt in another toothbrush. It doesn't harm my gums at all. It vibrates. You're going to get a toothbrush like this that vibrates? It's going to cost you 200 bucks within these big name brands and a, be like the size of a battery. Okay, this thing vibrates, it cleans your mouth, it, what does it do? It, it goes for three minutes, two minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes, and then every 30 seconds it warns you to switch sides to make That's sure you're right. getting the perfect brush. It's dentist recommended, 25,000 dental professionals, it's accepted by the dental uh, American Dental Association, it's out of control! I love the Quip. It starts at just $25, so if you want to see what it's like to have a supreme brush, supreme fresh breath, and supreme healthy gums, I recommend heading on over to getquip.com slash h3 and get your first refill pack for free. It starts at just $25. I mean, come on. How? I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on! That's your first refill pack for free. G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash h3. It's going to be the best $25 you ever spent. I'm telling you. You're going to kiss, you're going to cuddle, it's going to be clean, you're going to love it. Gabish, forget about it. And? And we're back in the raw, we're ready to raw it up, raw dog it, raw digging ding ding, <laughs> raw... Rawtacular. Huh. Huh. Nah. Let's watch. This is just heating up. And by the way, this isn't like Starbucks, this is some artisan, <laughs> yeah. you know, boutique like coffee $10 place. coffee yeah, kind of thing. exactly. You see, they bring the generator. Dude, that airplane pillow is such a flex, bro. You oh, see so that? It's like half outside, <laughs> but they're blocking the doorway. <laughs> oh yeah, they brought now, it. When you see that, are you not gonna call the FBI? You like, what is that, going dude, on I'm definitely here? calling the police. <laughs> oh, this is fucking epic. And there's just a bunch of hooligans. I mean, the premise... I just... Oh. What a nightmare. <laughs> Why is he having a nightmare? It seems like a good dream. It seems like a sweet dream. You hear the generator going? So loud. <laughs> Why do they look like they're gonna kill her too, like they're all intimidating. You don't have the regular? Omar! Come over here. That sounds like me. I was <laughs> coughing in the background. Listen to this. You don't have the regular? Omar! Come over here. <laughs> That's totally... <laughs> Who coughed? That's me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. They're bringing in the raw music. So here we go. It's generated. It's heated. Yeah. You gotta on the wrong side of the table, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yes, yes, yes. He's on yes. one leg. No, he's Love it. He's so pumped up, he doesn't even use the. The crutch. 
think about leaving yet. <laughs> now this is a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, they don't laugh. They just, I don't. Yeah, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Get ah, 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 ah. that there. rock. Hey, he took a tiny little sip, by the way. Oh my. What are you doing? Huh? Get out. <laughs> Talk nice. Oh. Talk nice, so don't talk at all. <laughs> I love how he's on this owner to shut the fuck on. We get it going. Ready, Ethan? Chase. <laughs> now that's a prank. That's a prank in 2019, baby. <laughs> that's a deconstructed prank. Right, that's that's very true, isn't it? <laughs> that was spicy. That's a serious generator, too. Those things are pricey, man. Was it a dream? So now, okay, now this is the reception. Like, like he's in the hospital. So they go back to him mm -hmm. on the street, but he's still in the dream. Yeah, you can tell by the shirt too. In the hospital, he's got Maybe the red shirt. Maybe this is a metaphor to how lost he got in the meme. Oh, he's lost. Ooh. We're all lost. <laughs> he's not the only one. He can't wake up from the nightmare. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> By the way, his hair is so out of control. I feel like at one point his hair was like stylish, but now it's just turned into this wild, yeah, wild, untamed. Look at his hair. Look how it <laughs> bounces. Ethan, wake up! You're having a nightmare. Bruno's epic acting. Can't go searching for the raw. Your leg is broken. I want the raw though. <laughs> Your leg is broken. You've been having a nightmare for the past five blocks. Forget about it. I want the raw. You see him saying? What are you kidding? Shut your face and you keep it seated, huh? Now that's a fucking wow. epic video. What could you say bad about that? Let's see. Um, Ethan is not getting enough recognition for these vids. <laughs> well, I, I agree. That's my. That's the trouble I'm having with right. them. Right. Yeah. I can't wait for Ethan and Ela to react to this. Well, there's only 5,000 views, so we gotta I mean, get that's it. That's really going. not cool, I agree. 5,000? It's not enough, but yet it's not... There's no... That doesn't even no, pay for the generator. Uh, They're losing money. It doesn't make... I'm just saying, <laughs> it, to anyone who's not on the show right now, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's totally unwatchable. I mean, it doesn't even make sense to us, really. That's what... And I know there's a genius <laughs> nuggy in there that we have to un, un, undig. Mm-hmm. So, Ethan, I do salute you. I do appreciate what you're doing. Um, oh, they listened to you and bought the generator. To make the <laughs> raw. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I love that generator, by the way. Yeah, it was great. So keep That's going. a keeper. Keep doing your thing. You're clearly not making any money from this. They're losing. <laughs> yeah, they're losing. I mean, this isn't, a, this isn't a business venture at this point. They're just providing us content for the podcast. <laughs> How many did his other videos get that we reacted to? Let's check. It's always like, five, like let's see. Oh, uh, 50, the regular 000. was 112. The regular Schmegala, 55. And th these were all trailers, so <laughs> we're all hyped up. And now <laughs> the big one came out. It's at 5,000, but we're going to get this. I mean, this one deserves to be seen. Yeah. Does Ethan, what is this? 10 minutes? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dan. Dude, <laughs> first of all, I gotta tip my beanie to you. Who turned the music down right now? Well, that was Zach. Zach. Yeah. Everybody back there. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> thank you. That was genius. <laughs> that was so great that I didn't even have to think about it. I almost didn't even I even realize that you guys had did that. We're at six seconds. We're gold. Right? Well... Unless the cutoff's five. We'll see, though. I we'll mean, you turned out. it down real fast. Yep. We're talk I think we're good. <laughs> and I just think that... Uh, is this just a fan edit? Why did it post this? <laughs> is this a compliment? Isn't this like a way of kind of goofing on someone and being like... <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's embraced the meme, man. Are these all Bad different? props to Ethan Bradbury, honestly. Yeah, yeah. He's, but he's lost in the he's... meme, though. He's embraced it too far. Uh, it's not too far. Are these different photos, just or enough. is it repeating? It's looping now. Yeah, it's looping. 
<laughs> Sloping and gooping. Mm. Ten minutes so that you know you can you can uh, you don't have to replay it every thirty seconds. It's enough to beat off to. When I when I was a kid, the only porn we had was VHS tapes, and I remember once finding in my brother's room. I mean, not not to you know smear him or anything, because I thought it was brilliant when I found it, and we were young. He would find he would find the perfect time that like a nudie film was on like C- Cinemax, which is like HBO, but they show more raunchy stuff, nothing hardcore, mm. but like just a topless girl, mm. and like a sex scene, but it doesn't show anything. And he would film, he would tape it on the VHS, and then he would duplicate it. So it was like the scene would play back. Oh, wow. Like six times in a row. <laughs> what? So he could have like enough time to beat off to it. Really? So it's not a hurry. I mean, I would assume that's the only reason why he would do it. I haven't talked to him ever about it, but I found it. Interesting. And well, I beat off to those tapes. I'm curious if he really did that. Of course. No, he did it. I'm telling huh. you, it was totally engineered. <laughs> wow. It was a VHS tape. Pretty creative. <laughs> yeah, I know. I totally like, dude, mother, uh, you know, necessities of mother of ingenuity. Like, um. I love that this is playing. Yeah. And here, let me. Does this work together? Okay, what is going on with the smell? Am I crazy? It's like coming in the room. It's been smelling like a burger. Now I smell Mexican food. Do you guys smell that? Yeah. You do, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's going on? I totally thought you weren't know, smelling man. it too. All right, we gotta eat. We're all starving. What do you want? Tell Dan what you want. I'm gonna go on to the next story. Just get me a regular schmegula. All right. I mean, <laughs> surprise her. You guys order order that shit. I'm starving. I need food when the show ends. You want an uh, Impossible Burger? Is that what you said? Yeah, I want the I want the veggie. Well, sure, the Impossible Burger with the regular schmegula. Forget about it. All right, you got it. I'll eat whatever Dan or Ian are eating. eating. Interesting, because they always go a little more. They don't go like. They choose wisely. Mm -hmm. I choose bluntly. You choose like you're gonna regret it. Okay. I'm thinking that that burger sounds pretty good. I don't know. There you go. You going for that? Wow. What is Ian getting? Ian, what you want? (laughs) Just like order. It's entertaining. Like a Far East Bowl. <laughs> Far East Bowl. How does that sound? Don't get a Far yeah. East Bowl. You're gonna regret it. I want the bowl. Get the burger. No, the I, bowl was bomb. Wait, you're getting a Far East Bowl? Yes. You must be Far East out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get the Far East Bowl. You guys don't know anything about living. Yeah. I'm let's with you. See, I'm getting the. I'm getting let's the see who's today. gonna say like right after you finish your food. Yeah. I wish I didn't eat this. I feel like shit. I won't say that. How could you say that about me? <laughs> I think these are interesting, and I'll tell you why I don't shy away from ordering food on the air and stuff like this. Because it really offers a glimpse behind the curtain as to what really goes on when these <laughs> kinds of things happen. I think yeah. it's fascinating. I saw that people were enjoying the drama on the last food review, and I'm glad that they enjoyed it. It's real. It's all real. It's all raw. It's as raw as it gets. Rawer than the rawest. Rawer than the rawer. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I, I, I'm happy people are enjoying the food segments because I don't want to stop. And I'm, we're not. We've got more planned. But meanwhile, Dan, go ahead and, and order that. I'm going to move on. Um, mm. Zach's going to be enjoying a little appetizer before <laughs> lunch arrives. Manny's. So Ian did a little write-up on the cult of Kanye. Oh, we haven't got to the main stories yet. I'm already ready to fucking retire. TGIF, baby. All right, let's talk about this. Ian, go ahead and play your edit. Kanye is building these... Let me show, set it up. Start over. Yeah, Kanye is starting a cult. He's building these huts on his property in Hidden Hills without permits. He just started erecting them, inspired by Star Wars. Okay. And uh, his the neighbors are complaining about noise, that he doesn't have a permit, and the city's saying, you got to tear him down. <laughs> Basically, or get a permit by the 15th of September. Now, we're really? going to dig into this. Yeah, the, t- the clock is ticking. But Ian's prepared for us a little edit to set up the segment. So, Ian, without further ado, hit us with the regular Schmegala. Yeah, Y'all see Wrecking Ralph? Yeah. Remember, you remember how that girl in there, mm. the people that was racing, Glitch. they were... 
Yeah, she was the glitch. Yeah. I will fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. Shut the fuck, try to write a rap. Okay then. You telling me they don't look at me like the motherfucking glitch? You telling me people don't look at Kanye West like the glitch? Right now. I am Warhol. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney, Nike, Google. When someone comes up and says something like, I am a god, everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I... What happened? Thought I would. What happened? Hmm. What happened there? I don't know. Oh my goodness. We just trained the glitch. He's the glitch. <laughs> oh, no. We played it all the way through before. Huh? When someone comes up and says, I just told you who I thought I was. A guy. <laughs> Picasso is dead. <laughs> Steve Jobs is dead. Walt Disney is dead. Name somebody living. Mm. And she was on the side of the video game the whole time. It's in my code. I like some of the Gaga songs. What the fuck does she know about cameras? <laughs> Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. If you're a Kanye what West fan, you're a fan, you a fan of yourself. <laughs> you will believe in yourself. I'm just the espresso. I'm just the shot in the morning to get you going to make you believe that you can this overcome that situation that you're dealing <laughs> with all the time. So, Ian, what did we just watch? <laughs> that was Yay Watch. <laughs> We're on Yay Watch now. So let me, uh, can I, I want to comment. It, it seems almost to have lampooned Kanye, but I know you're a true fan. So were you lampooning him a little bit or, pay, or paying respect? Just goofing a little bit. What the... People I gotta want. pee so bad. Oh my god, that's just cruel at this point. <laughs> Go ahead, Ian. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm getting goofed just like Kanye. See, that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, he's got some funny quotes. They all make now, sense to me, Do you want to show yourself when you're talking? Oh, I'm oh, brain distracted. I'm looking at your frame. Because you, it's showing you, Ethan. <laughs> Hold the fucking phone here. Wait, yeah. can you see me now? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Um, so you, you say you can explain all the quotes. So when he says, um, do you think he's the greatest gen uh, artist of our generation? I mean, come on, who are you talking to? Forget about it, come on. <laughs> I guess in your life that might be true. What, who would be your greatest artist? Hmm. Um... Is it possible to say that artists are losing their influence a little bit? In this day and age? It's possible to say it. Well, his whole thing is saying there's not, like, the icons that there were. That's why he says, name somebody living. Mm. But he's he saying, I am that icon. Yeah. But certainly there's other famous well, who, musicians. Like, who would you? Who's, like, your big... This person My big go, guy. Wow, that's inspiring stuff. <sighs> inspiring, I mean. Mm. I, liked, I like Paul McCartney. Okay. He's still crushing it. Well, he's I'm not. His, his music sucks these days, <laughs> to be honest, but he's still alive, so that's crushing it in my book. But I mean, the Beatles is. He says, name someone that's living, Paul McCartney. I don't think Kanye can hold a candle to Paul McCartney. Do you disagree with that or agree with that? Paul McCartney's been around for, you know. Long time. Let's see where Kanye is in three years. John's he's still a around. Beetle in. Yeah, I mean, come mm -hmm. on. Paul McCartney has co signed he's him. A Beetle. They made an album together. It didn't come out. But Ooh, that'd be one. bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, but, but Elton John's still alive. He's an icon living. So there's some icons around you. Jaden Smith. <laughs> well, let's take it easy there. He had, I just thought. Anyway, um, let's get to the to the domes. We're really, we're really unfocused today. ADH3. <laughs> ADH3. That used to be what we called our live stream because I was totally <laughs> unfocusable. I'm too, I'm so scatterbrained today because I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm just tired, you know?
I'm sleepy, literally, and I'm starving. I've been on a diet, and all I've been eating this morning, I had a small bowl of unflavored oatmeal. Okay. Have you ever had a bowl of oatmeal? You have not been on a diet. (sighs) What did I have for breakfast this morning? Okay. Yeah. What are you ordering for lunch? Yeah, I'm starving. (laughs) It's called a diet. What did I eat yesterday? Wiener schnitzel. But I only have one dog. (laughs) And fries. And a huge bucket of fries. Yeah, it's called <laughs> a diet, you Mega doo doo. Um, God, I'm gonna devour that food. But anyway, my you point is, you had a plate of vegetables this morning, and you didn't even touch it. I end up eating your vegetables not, who, every morning. Who's in the mood for sliced bell pepper? Maybe someone on a diet. Well, it's more calories. I chose really? not to eat it. Really? Cucumber? I had, bowl, I had a bowl of unsweetened <laughs> You're oatmeal. You're going to count Have the calories. Have you ever <laughs> eaten a bowl of unsweetened oatmeal? Okay. Just water and oats. Okay, but you're going to count the calories. And two hard-boiled eggs. Of cucumber. Well, I'm saying, what does that got to do with my diet? And then you order french fries for lunch. I'm not, I'm, you brought it up like, oh, you, what, if you're on a diet, you should be eating a sliced bell pepper in the morning. And I'm saying that it doesn't matter. What's it got to do with my diet? But put it this way, Ela. If I eat a bowl of oatmeal and an egg, maybe that's three, four hundred calories. That's a light, light meal. Then the, I agree. I fully admit that I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna eat a thousand calories right now with the burger and the French fries. Mm-hmm. That puts me still at thirteen hundred. If I don't eat anything for the rest of the day, maybe some fruit. I'm running a pretty good deficit still. Maybe, but that's not how you do it. That's Maybe. how you get heart disease in like two years. Oh. You think so? <laughs> Why, I'll eat some fruit? And then, I mean, it's not such a bad day. French fries? French fries, admittedly, not that. I don't eat French fries that often. This Yesterday? Is, this is a real... <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm saying... I know, but I'm saying... Guys, this is real. You see what you're saying? This is a real conversation. That's what's so special here. That's what makes this so special. <laughs> this is all real. I'm not... People who th- watch the highlights... If there were cameras here or not, this conversation would be the same. People who watch the highlights miss out on this kind of gold. <laughs> it's the stuff in between that makes this podcast great. I think it's a shame that you cannot commit to a diet. I'll t- I'm telling you honestly. I do. I agree. I mean, Because I- it's, first of all, unhealthy. Mm-hmm. You're at the point of your life where you can make a ten- you can make a shift you can either become a healthy adult or mm-hmm. you're gonna go like the fat sorry to say it but like heart disease mm-hmm. like all the shit that come with it mm-hmm. adult i agree there's a you can pick your road so you're saying french fries are out of the question ever once a year once a year okay let's start with once a month once a month? Yeah, that's a lot. You really don't need french fries. I don't eat french fries. Yeah, I'm working on it. But I swear to God, you don't ha- you do not have the food addiction that I have. It, it's easy. It is for an you. addiction. I I, I know, totally it's so easy I know I understand that I it's an addiction. I have a fat guy problem. I mean, look I at understand. Zach, he's sucking down horsey sauce. I understand that it's an addiction, but I'm just saying that it's a shame that you don't try a little harder to commit. Because you, like, you did good for a week. <laughs> you did really good for a week. Yeah, I agree. You it lost weight like a lot in one week. Right? I'm, try- I'm trying to figure it out. It's in my brain. I don't think this meal totally uh, is going to interrupt anything. I think it's part of a whole big ecosystem. I am sorting it out. I'm trying. I am really trying. Okay. I'm trying. I know you're disappointed in me. Makes me feel no. ashamed. But I'm ashamed of myself, too, because I really do want to be at a healthy weight. It's not that I'm disappointed. It's like I feel like I want to help you because I feel like I see that... It's, I see that it's an addiction, totally. Like, I'm not... I'm being fully serious. <laughs> no, I, I know. You, I'm not delusional about it. I mean, I'm not delusional about it. I'm fully aware. But... Um, I don't think publicly shaming me is the, <laughs> is gonna help me on my on my addiction quest. Have you ever considered getting mm-hmm. a uh, <laughs> like a personal trainer, like somebody who, I did. to work with you? I did. I didn't did? like it. Oh, okay, it's too weird. Also, I don't trust her advice. She goes, 
she tries putting me on like the <laughs> act or like uh car, whatever the keto, the, keto. she's like okay what you need to do is go home and eat high fat ground beef avocado sour cream and cheese just don't eat bread i'm like bitch are you trying to kill me <laughs> that's what I do. I mean, I'm sure I'll, I might lose weight, but I'm gonna fuck. I will definitely die of heart disease. That's why I feel I'm scared for Joe Rogan, man. I see what that motherfucker eats. I don't. He's like mm. breakfast time. It's like steak and like five just, eggs and a huge steak. I'm I like, just Whoa. see a picture of it and I get like sick. He posts on Instagram the. I'm scared. Yeah, he works out like four hours a day. Though. Does. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You mm. can't. Well, sure. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen to me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't take advice from me. Don't take fitness <laughs> advice from me. <laughs> Howard Stern has a funny bit, like how Oprah sells Weight Watchers, but she's fat as hell. He's like, don't take fat <laughs> advice from this woman who's just always perpetually fat. He's like, I should sell weight. Nobody wants to take weight loss from a skinny guy. <laughs> weight loss <laughs> advice from a true. skinny guy. That's so true. But the truth is, because Oprah's fat, People will listen. People know that she knows about their struggles. Right. Someone like Howard or you, God forbid, I know. Mila, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> you couldn't handle a day in my shoes. Okay. <laughs> Ela is so like, you've seen the bite she takes of these chicken sandwiches. She doesn't know what it's like to be me. And you sit there <laughs> and judge me. I'm not judging. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not judging. I you like want me you to be at any size. Ethan. No, I know you do. I know you do. You want me to be healthy. Your intentions are pure. I know that. I know. But I think I'm. I am figuring it out. And I, I saw will my dad. You know, my dad was a skinny guy. Like I know. most of his. I know. Up until his like thirties, he was skinny. Yeah. One of the things your dad told me. One of the only things your dad ever communicated with me. Was don't be don't get fat like me. He hated it. He he would say, "Watch your weight. He don't really get fat like it. me." It's uncomfortable. It gives you all kinds of diseases. Your dad was extro. He kind of had an extraordinary belly, though. Yeah. He had an extraordinary belly. Yeah. But in the end, it's not, you know, what got him. Nah, it didn't. But help. it doesn't help. It doesn't help. It Nothing. really doesn't. Like even with cancer, everything kind of factors in. Right. Well, they weren't weren't they saying that he it was good that he had so much because he was losing so much weight from chemo that it's good he had the stores. Wow. I'm trying to uh <laughs> I'm trying to give myself a <laughs> silver lining here. Anyway. Rest in peace to your dad obviously. Mm -hmm. I pro I am I'm always thinking about it and I'm strategizing and I know Hey, you're gonna see. You're gonna get inspired someday. I'm gonna make a Fuzzy Tube esque <laughs> weight loss video that's gonna blow you all away. I was gonna say. I mean, it, it, maybe you need to power this with a meme. We need to make this like a thing on the podcast. I mean, I've always wanted to have a jacked Ethan. Yeah, meme. Like, it would honestly be hilarious if you got fucking ripped. So I don't think do it, I'll do ever it for get the ripped, humor. But I'll get I'll get skinny. Eel is doubting. Doubt one hundred. I don't. I don't want you to think that I want you to get ripped or anything crazy. I know like you don't. That. I know you don't. You just want me to be healthy. Yeah. But you, what you don't know is healthy at every size. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone gonna hate me? Do I seem yeah. now like I'm mean to oh. you? Yeah, people are gonna be pissed about okay. this. Okay. But I want them to know. I'm just being real. I can see people yeah. being like, "Ela, yeah. so mean." But I want people to. I don't want people to think that because you coming from a good place. You mean well. I think Ela sometimes comes off a little harsher than she intends. Yeah, when, I do. And, 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 and that's the Israeli side of her, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But she, her heart, she's, she's pure of heart and sweet of heart. And she, what she's trying to say is that she wants me to be happy and healthy. And I think what she, know, what she knows more is that it makes me miserable being fat. It, and I yeah, keep making these bad I decisions see, for myself. I see you, like, you know, not being able to wear what you want mm -hmm. or... Being uncomfortable. Yeah, it's awful. My thighs rub together. My armpits starting to rub together because I'm so fat. I can't breathe when I tie my shoes. <laughs> I was feeling the that worst. stuff in the ninth month of being pregnant. I was, or or the also the acid reflux mm -hmm. gets worse and it's it's really uncomfortable. The worst part about being fat for me is the thigh rubbing, like right under my nuts on my thighs. 
there's no hair left from the friction, but it's just I have to huh. cr- I have to shove my boxers in between my my uh legs. No, what do you call that area between the asshole and the balls? Taint. The taint. The gooch. I, yeah, taint gooch. I shove my underwear in my gooch to prevent the chafing. <laughs> and I walk around like I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> like this. I'll show you guys. You, you have to. But so you have to shove the underwear, but not the pants. So it looks normal. Because <laughs> if you do like this, it looks ridiculous. So I mastered a technique where the underwear goes under the, and then the pants look normal. <laughs> so that's my life. And you're absolutely right. Eli. And I know all that. <laughs> exactly. Ela, she, she's right. She, Ela's right. And she's frustrated. At watch me make these bad decisions time and time again. And but it's right. fine. If you guys want to hate me, go ahead. I'm okay with it. No. I can understand it. It's fine. No. There, no, it's not fine. Sometimes I think also, like, may I don't know, maybe I shouldn't enable you, you know, because it is an addiction. Hmm. But I don't, it's so tough, like... Well, I don't. Who knows? I think what, ultimately, what's it's right. up to me. Yeah, it's not. If, you're not enabling me. Yeah. I'm. I'm very insistent. And when I get an idea in my head, I want to, you know, do something, eat something bad. I mean, it's not your place. Ultimately, it has to come from within mm-hmm. me. That change. And so, yeah, you're in a tough place. You say, do I do I say something? Do I help him, or do I just be quiet? Because often you'll say something, and it'll come off like you're being mean or judgmental and it's like ultimately what can you do it's just you know it's my it's my choice yeah so i think you're good i think your intentions are pure i think you're a loving wonderful wife i wouldn't change you i mean i I wouldn't change anything about you ever (laughs) i wouldn't change a single thing about you i wouldn't change anything about you except my weight no it's fine (laughs) look it's fine (laughs) i am personally not into like Super muscly look, and uh, you know, skinny. I don't want you to go that route. So, I want. Uh, there's nothing more I want them to lose weight. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat these burger and fries, and then I'm gonna go home and I'm not eating anything for the rest of the day. Maybe have some watermelon. All right. That's it, and I'm I'm low, and I'm and I'm gonna do my steps too. Mm-hmm. I've been getting in six thousand steps a day. And I walk in the house. It's the weirdest thing. Shredder watches me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but I do steps like, in the house because I don't want to go outside because it's hot. It's fucking awful. But their neighborhood's kind of shady, too, at night. <laughs> so I just stay in and walk around the house. So where would you rate this on the best episodes ever? I totally pooped the whole episode. You didn't poop it. I wouldn't change a thing about you, Eula. Not even... Not even... A cunt hair. (laughs) 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 I had a friend once. I'm gonna. I have to give some. I don't even know if I heard you right. (laughs) I have to give some uh, context to that comment. I had a friend once. He had me proofreading a paper for his college exam, and he used the word. He said instead of hair, I was a hair from whatever. He said I was a cunt hair away. And I was like, bro, why did you write <laughs> cunt hair? And he's like, what do you mean? That's like common language, cunt hair. I was like, no, dude, that's vulgar as hell. And I don't, I don't know why he just wrote in cunt hair and he thought it was what? totally fine. But I just, that stuck with me. What is that guy and watching? So that just popped in my head there. I think it's from The Sopranos. Huh. But he just wrote in cunt hair in his college essay <laughs> I was just blown away I never I actually had never even heard the phrase cunt hair yeah so I wouldn't change not even a cunt <laughs> hair on you thank you just you know to bring it down all the way all right let's move on Con- we got some manis to eat we got some burgers to eat Kanye's got a cult oh my god How did here it is yeah. he built the domes <laughs> based on Star Wars now, Ian, what's cult like about it? Because you were the one that said it's cult like. Uh, sorry, my my brain's a little. That I was drawn in that conversation there. Let's <laughs> <laughs> track. The Mayo is here, by the way. Update. Oh Jesus! Um, it's here already. Yeah. Yep. Shout out Postmates. Wow. The jar's looking pretty good. I don't know if he'll do this. Uh, cults. 
I, I put the episode. <laughs> yeah, I told you on? this episode is Something's over. Something's in the air. This episode someone's, is over. Someone's piping in so this fast. fucking smell, and it's fucking with all of our heads. <laughs> like we're all so hungry right now. Why does it smell like burgers in here? There's like some gremlin <laughs> eating fast food in the duct. Because <laughs> the mayo is here. I smell it. I, I mean, still we smell had it. a fuck ton of Chick Fil A and Popeyes in here two days ago. It might. It, it's just like in the carpet now. Oh, dude, there's no. That's so did, fun. Did I, is it still in the trash or something? No. Trash has been emptied. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's The Wiener Schnitzel was, smell was in our car so strong. <laughs> <this> morning, <laughs> I was blown away. <laughs> it was like onions. <laughs> I honestly just want to watch Zach eat some mayonnaise, and then I want to eat. How long has this episode been? <laughs> oh, we, didn't even, re- we didn't even I talk. I really want to see that mayo. I'm really. We, we didn't even talk about any of the main stories, so let's just do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Pro Jared, okay? Let's just talk about it. We have to. We have to. Do we? <laughs> well, how, how we else are we just throw in the thumbnail and title and then just never get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Most people wouldn't even realize. Probably, <laughs> probably not. Okay. What do we call this video? <laughs> like, literally, try to title this video. <laughs> yeah. Ela shames Ethan. <laughs> Ela fat shames And you're Ela. not going to like her after this episode. <laughs> I promise nobody. Will. You're right. I mean, no. They, I, I'm bringing up to that because people are going to say that. They're going to say that, but. Who's but, gonna say that? Who's I'm telling everybody. you, that. I know. Anybody that gets mad at a wife <laughs> wanting her husband to just be healthy, fuck off with that. What the hell? Don't get mad at Ela. Oh, Dan, you're too green. <laughs> Let's talk about Pro Jared. Let's just get it okay. done. We have obligations here. Okay, Pro Jared finally responds. Now, how long has it been since the Pro Jared controversy happened? It's been a long time. That was in time. May. So, yeah. <laughs> I find oh. it funny that one of, one of his main not that long not that long ago May, June, like July, August three four months. four months. I find it funny he goes, not one person reached out to me. Not one person, and he showed a picture of us, our podcast. I'm amongst others that talked about him. Yeah, but I'm like, dude, you didn't speak. You uh, if you would have put out a statement, I would have covered it. You didn't say anything. What yeah, the fuck? I don't know you. I'm not gonna reach out to you. I didn't reach out to anyone else. I don't understand that whole logic of needing to reach out to anyone. I'm not a journalist. This is not New York Times. I'm some fucking dude who's about I mean, to watch my employee eat a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> what research do you expect me to do exactly? We talked about all kinds of stuff. Are we gonna reach out to everyone to get there? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, let, so here, I, first of all, I got an email from a pro Jared fan. This is what tipped me off that he responded. He says, "He says you will openly apologize for spreading misinformation against Jared Kanekabeka." Just Kanek- showed his email. Yeah. Fuck this guy. <laughs> all right. Modnex sucks at gmail dot com. <laughs> I mean, it's just email. What can you do? Fair enough. <laughs> you will openly apologize for spreading misinformation against Jared Neighborbauber. Where you learn suffering, as he has, and worse. <laughs> and worse. <laughs> Damn, Jared's fans are crazy. I was like, dude, I know. I Jared sent me this email, didn't he? Uh-huh. So, okay, what misinformation did I spread about Jared? I think none. I was reporting what happened, talking about how crazy it was, how the kickback, I had never seen anything like that, losing 25% of your a fan base in a day or whatever. <laughs> now... He spends the majority of his video responding to allegations that these two dudes said that he solicited nudes from them under age. I, wa- I went back and watched our s- coverage of that story. We gloss over that only the last three minutes of the 20 minute segment. And we we say that it's uncorroborated. And frankly, that was to me was never the most interesting part of the story because obviously anyone can make up and say anything they want on Twitter. He spends the most of his time saying, um, I did not solicit nudes from these people. Uh, and I asked them if they were 18. So, and then he goes, he goes, I, he basically shows that they were lying about him doing that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, fine. Um, he does, however, openly admit to to uh, getting nudes from his fans, you know? 
Remember Sin Jared, the secret tumbler? Sin Jared? Hmm. So let's see. I've got um got a lot time stamped here. So to me, let, let's see here. Listen to this. Something that is important to note. By the is way, he, he managed to look like as pathetic as possible and as greasy <laughs> as possible in the video. And my to my surprise, people really responding to this video. He's getting his subs back, lots of likes, and people are responding. But I think he kind of pulled a fast one on everyone. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm going to keep it 100. <laughs> I think the guy's a total sleaze who does, should not have a fan base. Because while he refutes the worst claims mm -hmm. of these two individuals, he admits slyly at the same time that he was soliciting nudes from his fans who watches his videos young people it's a video game channel yes most of the audience for those channels are on the younger side exactly I mean, they're not like in their 30s that's for sure he goes you know he he admits to getting nudes from his fans i mean i'm going to show you all the evidence but he doesn't he barely Dude, you can't, if you're an, if you have a community, if you're famous, you cannot put yourself in the position to be getting nudes from fans, especially young fans. He goes, all he, all he shows to prove that he asked, he goes, real quick, are you 18 plus? They're 16 year old, of course they'll say yes. That's why you don't put yourself in that position to begin with. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I know he just said that to cover his ass in case something like this happened, mm -hmm. which he half expected. Yeah. You know, if you, if you fuck someone under the age of 18 and, and they lied about their age, Guess who's still going to jail? That's why you don't fuck. That's why you don't do this. Why do you think people want to send you their nudes? Because you're handsome? No, it's because they know who you are. That's the only reason people want to send you their nudes, dude. And trust me. It's, you may be the most handsome. I mean, I mean, you know, we'll get a look at that face. I'm, I'm shocked that people are buying this. This guy is a sleaze, dude. He, he has sex, Jared. Sin Jared. He had a form called Sin Jared where he accepted, and he, he, he does it under the guise. He goes, oh, I'm just, I'm doing it as sex positive. Mm -hmm. Just expressing Bro, themselves. Bro, that's not sex positive. That's creepy as fuck. Maybe uh, if it was anonymous. Uh, exactly. And everyone were anonymous. And exactly. And they didn't know that you but were. But it's got Jared in the name exactly. of the community or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Exactly. A blog. I think it's disgusting. I think he totally is manipulative because he's like, well, I disproved this and I'm going to kind of underhandedly admit to doing this, but this isn't as bad as that. Mm -hmm. It is. I never cared about this whole thing with these random stories on Twitter because I know that shit can be made up. The fact that you are in the position of getting nudes from your fans is so such an abuse of power. It's so disgusting. It's so creepy that you are not responsible to handle having a community of young people. I mean, you're to me, that's like, stay, stay 100 feet away from schools, dude. Like, what do you do? I mean, this guy should not have a community. He's not responsible. This is so gross. And by the way, bro, I have seen your dick. There should not be pictures of your dick out there. Don't put yourself in the position of that. He put himself in the position to be able to be accused of the things that they accused him. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't on there with all this Sin Jared and all this bullshit, these accusations wouldn't hold any water. Mm -hmm. But you create an environment where that shit's believable, dude. I don't buy it. This guy, he's, you know, and he tries to make a big thing about cancel culture and all this. Bro, you were, there's a difference between cancel culture what? for someone saying an offensive joke right. and someone... Abusing the power and getting nudes from underage fans. You cannot mm -hmm. conflate the difference there. Yeah. This guy I, actually did I something. totally agree on that point because we were just talking about cancel culture on the last episode. But this is not exactly, like you said, this is not accusing him of making a bad joke. That no. Is not, that is not PC, you know? No. And by the way, if he's on there soliciting nudes you know that a large portion of them are going to be underage people, regardless if he said, oh, are you 18 plus? On, like, Just checking. We're in the same position. We have a channel. I think our audience is probably older than his. Absolutely. And even us, if I ask someone, if I was in this position, I would totally expect that, that there's going to be at least 50% of them under 18. <laughs> 
course. Like, come on. Use your brain, bro. You're but, telling but me that he's not, he, he gets stopped on the street. We know exactly what age our fans are. We see them on the street when they say hi. We see in meet and greets. It's not like a mystery. He knows exactly what kind of fans his he are, has. Well, his are much younger than ours. They are definitely but, younger than ours. So, so it's, you, it's impossible to conclude that he didn't know it was a possibility that those nudes were going to be minors. Mm -hmm. Even though he's like, oh, real check, real fast, real are quick. you 18 plus? I'll show you all that. But I also imagine this, that I'm on a forum, people know who I am, I'm talking to a girl, and I'm and, and I'm creating the environment where she can send me nudes and I want to see her nudes. Mm -hmm. That is so creepy and perverse, it's dude. It's That's up. so creepy and weird and perverse. And then uh, to, to create a forum dedicated to it, Sin Jared. Bro, you cannot live down Sin Jared. Change your name to Sin Jared. <laughs> because I don't think you get to live that one down. And on top of it... On top of it all, you look like Earthworm Jim. And I d am going to make fun of his looks. Because I think <laughs> what he did is creepy. It's fine if you want to make fun of his look. But I think that is unrelated. Dude. And I wouldn't want that to disqualify everything else we said. So... Whatever, that's just silly, that's one thing, but the nudes are not that silly, is my point. You're right. I shouldn't have made the earthworm Jim <laughs> joke. I've seen the man's penis. I and, have too, unfortunately. <laughs> and frankly speaking, dude, I mean, it's fine, but it's not, it's fine. It's not good enough to be sending pictures out <laughs> to people. Like, it's not even like a hog, it's not like particularly beautiful. It's like a normal dick, like you don't get to send, if you have a normal dick, you don't get to send dick pics. It better be spectacular <laughs> if you're sending dick pics. Right? <sighs> anyway, let's watch this. It's the way Chai and Charlie made their statements. They use a logical fallacy known as poisoning the well. It's a tactic in which before you are presented with information, you are given subtext, opinions, or other irrelevant information to negatively affect your opinion about something before you find out what the is, something yeah. is. In other words, to manipulate you. And it worked on everybody. Charlie's accusation. <laughs> so, I mean, he goes on about logical fall fallacies. But I, I think, first of all, I think he's the one doing logical fallacies here. We had to look it up. How about the ir irrelevant conclusion? A fallacy of presenting an argument that may or may not be logically valid and sound, but whose conclusion fails to address the issue in question. The issue in question, for me, the one that really mattered, that we spent all of our time talking about, is was he exchanging nudes with his fans? And the answer he admits to is yes. Here he is admitting to it. What this all came down to was people saying that I was exchanging nudes with fans on Snapchat and Tumblr. And a lot of people want to know if I did any of that. Yeah, I did. And I always made it clear that it was for consenting adults only. This came about when numerous people had asked me about it and wanted to know if it was okay to do. Let me, I, let me, re look, listen, this is a message you got. I'm not drunk as fuck yet, but I will told you, totally send you tit pics. I said, yes, that it would be a safe place for people who wish to express themselves in that way and for me to express myself in that way. It was an open invitation in for those way. who wanted to do it and that I wouldn't be offended or upset and that nothing would be shared or saved without explicit permission. To be clear, it was an open invitation to those who wanted. Bro, you cannot do that. Yeah. An open invitation. Hey guys, send me your nudes. Send me your nudes, but, but you have to be real 18 quick, plus. Just 18 plus, but I'm not going to check anything further than yeah. that. Just saying it. Dude, if I tweet it out right now, hey, send me your nudes, 18 plus only, guys, I'm going to get 50% of kids sending me their fucking prepubescent shit. And by the way, dude, I'm sure you saw some questionable shit that should have made you think, 
I should not be doing this. And I'm sure that he's doing this just for, you know, posterity's sake. Mm-hmm. Just to have said it. So in case this happened, you yeah. can be like 18 plus guys. To see, participate. Like, the choice was always up to them. At no point did I ever go through my followers list and single out individuals or screen Because he doesn't want to go to jail and he knows that's illegal. Them. I never did that. I always left the choice up to them. Let them choose. This is what he said, by the way. How do you feel about your husband's obsession with nudes? Okay, he's got an obsession. Do you see this? This is a question. People know that he's obsessed with nudes on his Tumblr blog. To engage or not. The fact that I get this question all the time. Do you see how how Mm -hmm. foremost this is in his life? I get this question. And this is just the shit he's showing me to prove his innocence. Well, that's from his wife, just to be clear. Have nothing. I know, but what she's saying, what he's saying. She's saying that she's getting this question all the time. It's happening all the time. The fact that I get this question all the time tells me that people expect me to be upset about it. Jared can post whatever he wants on his Tumblr. He's not hurting anyone. He's not cheating on money. He's just whatever, whatever. And he says, I love you, wife. Send nudes. But do you see what I'm, my point is, Dan? Now's a good time for the devil advocate soundbite. <laughs> I don't even think this, but just to play devil's Thank advocate you. for a second. <laughs> um, my point is, is that in this community, everybody knows he's obsessed with nudes. Yeah. And he wants to receive nudes, the open invite. Also, this whole thing of um, saying that it's what they want. They want to send it's me like nudes. like victim blaming. It's so manipulative. It's kind that of, is something that R. Kelly would say. Yeah. The girls want to be here. Right. They love me having to take their phone away. That's right. what they want. Right. It's like, no, no. This is not normal. You want. You, you create this environment. Yeah. They're your fans. They're, they want to please you. They want your attention. You've made it clear that you like nudes and you have it's an like open invitation. It's like I'm going to be here and I'm going to be like, okay, Ethan, if you want, maybe take off your shirt, you know? If you want it's my like, attention and you're a fan, there's a way that you can do you're it. You're still suggesting your nudes. it, you know what I mean? No, he, he clearly— If I'm, if I'm going to tell Dan and Ian, hey, guys, you want to take off your clothes or whatever? It's like, it's yeah, up to you. I'm phrasing it like they want it, but I'm suggesting it. I'm creating this environment. And he goes, well, you guys want to take off your clothes. I mean, only if you want to. And if you're 18 plus and consenting, obviously do something you're right. But like if you want to take your clothes off, I'm always here and uh, there's an open invitation. But anyway, I'm, I, I'm not going to talk to you. Other, I, so if you want to talk, yeah. you can. that's a good way to start a conversation with me. It's just, 18 um, plus. I, find that really I made a conscious effort to treat everyone with the same respect, always. And I see no shame what goes on between consenting adults. It was never meant to be an abuse of power. I never this offered anyone bullshit. anything in return, like making them a Twitch mod or early access to a YouTube video or He's whatever. He's playing such a fool right <laughs> Early now. access to a video. I never <laughs> gave them anything. What you're offering them what? is your attention. <laughs> They're your fans, bro. He's he's acting like you're not that dense. You know what you did is fucked up. Stop. He's always saying, like, I never paid anyone. Yeah, or I never threatened anyone. Or I never blackmailed anyone. I never, he, in his mind, he's like, I never coerced anyone. I just had an open invitation. I Everybody he... knows I'm obsessed with nudes. They ask my wife all the time. <laughs> Bro, you're a creep. You are such a creep. How did this apology... I feel like, in my opinion, this apology made me think even less of him. Mm-hmm. That's how I felt, too. But yet, people are people are saying he pulled the ultimate Uno card or whatever. Just because he was so focused on disproving those two kids, I think, that... See, that, that's the logical fallacy. He disproved them... Mm-hmm. But by disproving them, he, he tries to make over like exactly, the main problem. Here. Exactly, he 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 focused on something much much worse, and then by doing so, tried to negate mm-hmm. the actual issue at hand. But but the stuff he says in here actually incriminates him even more. I also never threatened anyone any kind of punishment if they didn't. That's or in anything his mind, like that. That's that's in his mind. He has to be that explicit. Mm-hmm. I didn't threaten anyone. I didn't punish anyone. I didn't blackmail anybody. I didn't promise them early access to it. Oh, yeah. That's not how it works, bro. People are going to send you their tits for early access. <laughs> they do it for your attention, you dense fucking predator. I'm going to call him a predator. You are accepting fans from your nudes, you sick fuck. And they're underage. Shame on you, Jared. 
you earthworm gym looking fuck? Why don't you crawl back under the ground where you belong? I'm pissed. This is disgusting. This guy shouldn't be on this platform. It's horrific. I'm angry about it. He should not be forgiven, dude. And 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 by definition, he shouldn't because he's admitting in this video, he's saying, I did nothing wrong. It's consenting adults. I'm obsessed with nudes. It's an open vo- I'm sex positive. Mm-hmm. Which means I've done nothing wrong, and you all acknowledge that. So let's just keep accepting nudes, baby. That's my problem more than anything, is that it seems to completely not get the problem. <laughs> like, he's just brushing over the main issue. and Yeah. Let me not... just see here. It, it gets, it, it's... However, I want to acknowledge <laughs> now that there was a power imbalance. He's only thought about it now. That comes down to who I am and... Bro what I do. Why the fuck do you think they're sending you nudes to begin with? If you were just some random creep on Craigslist, nobody would send you anything. You would not have people lining up around the block to send you their nudes. Just make an anonymous thing, then why By is it Sin about Jared? Jared? Sin Jared. You're, I mean, dude, come on. Even Who if you there kidding? was Apparently a lot of people. nothing offered in return, there was still incentive for people to do it. Because yes. I am a YouTuber. Yes, dude. It doesn't matter. Did this just? How he acts like this just occurred to him. Neutral. The intent was just being in this position. What's neutral about? What's neutral? I just neutrally want your news, despite I don't care. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Causes a power imbalance, and a lot of people saw that. And were upset at me for that reason. And to those of you who feel that way, I completely understand how you feel and why you feel that way. And I'm sorry. I feel there's something so yeesh. fucking off about that apology. Seriously. There's something about the fact that he says, I understand how you feel right. and why you feel that way. I don't feel that way. Yeah. But you chose to be offended by it and I understand why you feel that way. Why is you know what apolog- I mean? It's then, like why is he apologizing to me? I don't know. It's very weird. He's like, Yeah, I abused my power. I'm sorry to you who felt that way. Just seems like he's not really understanding that what he did is wrong. Yeah. That's just the feeling that I get. But this whole this whole shtick, like he just now realized that it's an abuse of power. It's just, it's, it's so disingenuous. It's so manipulative, this whole thing. I don't know. Well, that it's creepy, right? What that I was doing was not so predatory. I think it was. But it was unhealthy. Okay, you abused your power, you admit there was a power imbalance, yet it wasn't predatory. How do you explain that? That's what this whole Me Too thing's about, is that these mm-hmm. powerful men right. are, are using their, 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 influence you just don't put yourself in that position dude I don't know what to tell you man go get a fucking date or I don't know go I don't know man don't accept nudes from fans when you have a, ch- a young f- audience too so what is what's, what is the shirt he's wearing too can we talk about that mm-hmm <laughs> But that isn't the main grievance that everyone has with me. It's it is the other. Allegations. It is. <laughs> it that's, is that's the exactly problem, that it is. So that so we <laughs> brush over that. He's like, well, anyway, that's not really a big deal. I apologize for that and eh, whatever. Uh, it wasn't uh, predatory. Yes, it was. But anyway, nobody really cares about that. <laughs> Here's what they really care about. By these two, he They're goes on. He spends the entire video disproving them, which again, don't care about that. And then at the end, he says about the divorce, it's none of your business. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. It's none of my business. <sighs> yeah. It's fine that he's disproving those two. I, it's not cool for people to make up stuff, obviously. Oh, yeah. Fuck, so, fuck those kids. I mean. I don't want to make it seem like that part is not fucked up. I'm trying to find... Well, he dis- he fully disproves one. The other, he doesn't really disprove. All he proves is that they lied because about they clearly their had age. Action. I honestly don't even need to go into it because I don't care about it. It's all disputable. It's he said, she said. Right. 
right. what is not disputable that he openly admits to is that he's fucking accepting nudes from his young fan base. Yeah. That's indisputably creepy and disgusting. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. Like, if that alone was leaked, that would be career-ending. But he's he's positioned it next to these other claims. Yeah. And now, all of a sudden, everybody's forgiving him. Here. Access to all of our messages and saw the truth. Now, this does bring up the question, why didn't I ask for people's IDs? And the answer is because... That would be asking people to dox themselves, which seems... Here, let me see. When you're in the position to ask for people's IDs, you already lost. <laughs> How about that? You already lost, bro. Far more risky. Besides, there's no way What's to risky, exactly? verify IDs. For them to send an ID. He's like, listen, I couldn't even verify it if they sent it to me. How about they black out the pertinent information? Yeah, I don't know. How about you asking is well, a lot there's, better. Well, there's no way for you to verify when they say yes or no to your... Here, real quick, are you 18 plus? Here, here they saw it was them who continued to initiate conversations with me on me pro- back. single part of Charlie's allegations against me hinges on the belief that I didn't know their age and or didn't ask. They even argued that I should have known their age because they used the phrase, I am a baby, as if this somehow denotes how old they generally are, even though it's used in a context of shyness. Listen, look at this conversation, by the way. I got invited to a gangbang by five other people, she told Jared. Or he, I don't know. Jared says, oh. He blurred something out. Yep. Just their name. Okay. Explain. Two girl. Oh, wait, now I'm confused. So that's what she or he is or saying? Or feeling intimidated. Jared. He blacked out their name. So he, he, he removed this, but I remember seeing the whole thing. How old they generally are. But he's all even though it's like jazzed the up. He's like jerking off. He says he's jerking off. Intimid- Did you say yes? Dated. And I- the whole conversation is like, he, it's so disgusting. So where did you see it? I think it was part of the original leak. Uh-huh. Where he's like, I'm jerking off to your nudes right now or something creepy uh-huh. like that. It's not sex positive. He's getting himself off. He is jerking off. He is gratifying himself sexually. This isn't like just trying to make feel make people feel good about themselves. He is gratifying himself sexually. I did ask their age. Wow. And they lied. They lied. They're 16, dude. And second of all, this isn't exactly due diligence. No. Real quick. Like an afterthought. Mm-hmm. Oh, real quick. Heck, I have a ton of news, but I usually don't send them to people. You said has to be certain. Yeah, I don't. You're I don't certain think... off of them <laughs> just saying yes. Yeah. Oh well, now I'm certain. Okay. Real quick, real quick. Are you 18 plus? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank God. <laughs> he didn't even ask. Oh, what is your age? <laughs> what is your age? How old are you? Right. Are you 18 plus? Real quick. <laughs> Can I see your ID? Black out the pertinent information. Well, I couldn't even prove it if they did. Well, it's better than this. Or the ultimate, uh, the ultimate, uh, preventer. Do you know what it is, Hila? Mm-hmm. Don't solicit nudes from your fans. Underage fans, but fans in general. You creepy fuck. And you know he's beating off during this conversation. <laughs> and I've seen his penis too. And it's nothing spectacular. I'm going to repeat that. Right. They also clearly knew then that they were doing something they know they shouldn't and is doing something 16, they know. 16, bro. You created an environment. Me? Sounds like you knew you were doing something you shouldn't. You're talking to a 16 year old. You fucking creep. You beat off to a 16 year old's nudes, and it's their fault. He beat off to his 16-year-old's nudes. And it's their fault for lying to him. Guys, am I the only one that read the writing on the wall? This guy's a fucking creep. I'm not okay with. They had full access to the entire conversation and omitted to all of you that they lied to me, deceiving all of you. 
They knew about this from the get-go, which is why on Twitter, they immediately began to backpedal on their claims, changing their tone from claiming, I didn't say he knew my age, I said he was predatory. Predatory behavior would be targeting an individual and pursuing after them, often repeatedly. Bro, you don't need to and as Charlie predator, had access predatory. to predatory. I know what predatory is. It's a this conversation. <laughs> you create an environment. It's not predatory. Like the church of Scientology be like, we're not predatory. <laughs> we just wait for someone to walk into our building. Mm -hmm. and then we suck them for life. Right. We're not predatory. He walked in of his own free will. Shut up, Jerry, you creepy fuck. God. Our whole conversation, they saw it the was them who continued to initiate conversations with me unprompted numerous times for months along. You know what that okay. you call that? A power imbalance. Why do you think they're pursuing you? <laughs> because, because they want it's your just attention. So un it's so desirable. They just go after him for months. Because they're your fans, you And then it just yeah. does them a favor and accepts the nudes. Can I send you more stuff? Oh see it was them. He's they actually wanted just it. a saint, you they know. They wanted it. He didn't do anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, backtrack Five, uh, five minutes. Tell me more about your threesome. Did you do it? <laughs> uh, I'm jerking off right now to your nudes. But Charlie chose to omit that. And when they spoke with the Daily Beast, they lied. Yeah, it's not about what was omitted, bro. It's about what you're plainly admitting to right now. God. Um, what else we got? Yeah, that's it. In summary... Typing 18 plus does not make you not liable. You are an adult celebrity that is creating an environment on Sin Jared, piggybacking off your identity. Mm -hmm. So they know full full well who they're, whose attention they're getting. You know. Sometimes. Oh, that's me. If, I mean, if you have sex with an underage girl, guess what? If they lie to you, you still had sex with an underage girl. You're trying to act like you, you've never thought about what a power dynamic is. Yet you called your secret Tumblr Sin Jared. Using your online persona to get nudes. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to send you their nudes. They only want to do it because they know, because they want your attention. He spends the entire time trying to dispute the account of these two people on Twitter whose accounts were questionable to begin with. But the fact that he's soliciting nudes from his young audience, which is the grossest part for me, he glosses over and acts like nobody cares about it. I mean, ultimately, I, I think this guy doesn't deserve to have a... I think he's a, I think he's a danger to his audience. And I've seen his, I've seen his dick. <laughs> I mean, dude, once I've seen your dick, you're done. <laughs> You've got pics of your dick. How many people do you send your picture of, picture of your dick to before it gets on the internet? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, there's something to that. Weird. I mean, this is one of the so grossest weird. things I've seen on yeah. YouTube. Imagine if I went and set up a Tumblr called, uh, I mean, the sin part is so sin gross. Jim. Nothing is worse than sin. Yeah. Imagine, sin Ethan. <laughs> imagine Ethan's it heathens. Sin Ethan. Ethan's heathens. That's not even as bad. Sin Ethan. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Finally, let's talk about Chappelle. And then let's eat. Is the food here? <laughs> the, the food did just arrive, yes. <sighs> we got to wrap this up. How long have we been going? Hour 45. This Chappelle thing's gonna take a minute to get through. Hmm. Cliff notes. <laughs> By the way, wasn't there like a, a news story? There's this YouTuber uh, that I never heard of, Austin Jones, mm -hmm. that f was guilty of uh, soliciting nudes. Yeah, I recall something like that. But I'm sure if the FBI goes and collects his hard drives, if he hasn't microwaved them already, 
They're going to find tons of underage nudies. That other guy was uh, persuading underage fans to send him graphic videos. So I guess maybe the difference is that Jared covered himself by asking, are you 18 plus, real quick? I don't think that covers him. I think he I hasn't been investigated. I don't know what's the severity difference. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know how I don't know forceful this guy was being. Right. Either way, if there's enough to like <laughs> charge him with something or not, I think it's creepy and It's not right. So unresponsible it's as, not as right. someone who has fans. Um, let's see. Dave Chappelle's new special got him in a lot of controversy. Which is funny because he pretty much is baiting everybody. Mm-hmm. And when I watched this new one, it was great. I loved it. And I was thinking to myself, there is no way that people are going to take the bait again. <laughs> because he's very self-aware. And I felt like watching it, he just thought of the most offensive things he could talk <laughs> about possible. And, yeah. and tried to make it, uh, make it, you know, tall, uh, funny. Which I think is a pretty admirable goal. He talked about trans people, he talked about Louis C.K., Michael Jackson, he talked about rape. I mean, he went every single place <laughs> he could to, and tried to make it funny, which is really cool. Yet still, you see headlines, I saw this from Vice, they go, You can definitely skip Dave Chappelle's new Netflix special. <laughs> I watched the whole thing. They're, Those articles are so douchey. I think they're just clickbait. Like, you can definitely skip. And who are you exactly? Well, because they say that he continues to laugh at the hardship of trans people. That doesn't mean it's not funny. I saw articles that are even saying that it's not funny, which I find just like... Well, that that's just, that's just erroneous. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Dave's still one of the funniest comedians ever. I mean, there's no question about it. You think everyone's just watching it to piss off trans people? Right. People are watching because it's funny. Um, I recommend it. I thought it was great. There was there was a couple of jokes in there he said that pissed people off. There was the trans jokes, which he kind of doubled down on. He's like, the trans hate me. Because I guess he said a lot of trans jokes in the back. And he, he kind of doubled down. But I don't think he really... I mean, I don't think he really... Uh, said anything unforgivable or even provocative. I don't think he was trying to poke them. He told this he he told this anecdote about a trans person at a show. And I think it was a I thought it was a pretty good point. He says this trans person said to me, "It's funny they give you shit for for making jokes about R Kelly and you made him mainstream and acceptable. Yet you do the same thing about trans people." And instead of saying you making them mainstream and acceptable, they say that you're mm-hmm. discriminating against them. Yeah. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then there's the other one he says about Louis C.K. jerking off in front of people. He thought it wasn't a big deal. Again, it's like you got to watch it. You have it's, to watch it, though. It's a piece of art. I mean, he's, he's like... He he's, has this... he's writing, like, jokes on... That is like the top of the top of comedians. Right. His his uh, specials are pieces of art. Like seriously, mm. they're amazing, and it's all very thought thoughtful. And there's a lot. There's like storyline to the whole mm. thing, and the jokes are great. And I just think it's so funny that some guy on Vice is gonna call it like, "Oh, you can skip that." Right. Let's let's, let's see like your that. next special, Mister. Well, Whoever you are. For example, he did this bit about Michael Jackson, and he was saying he thinks they're lying. I'm someone that is strongly uh, believes that Michael Jackson right, was a me too. pedophile. Yeah. Yet, I, I, I was able to watch that bit, and I saw what he was doing. He was trying to make he was trying to make a bit about something as controversial as Michael Jackson and all those allegations. And just make a funny commentary about just it. Just make a funny Start this joke about, about the most, like, horrible topic that you could think of. Yeah, because he goes, on one hand, those I think they're lying. But on the other hand, he goes, if I was m- molested by Michael Jackson, he's Michael Jackson. It's still Michael Jackson. You know, so it's like he opens the door for it. He did it. He didn't do it. But it's mm-hmm. all, I'm making it funny. That's his objective is to be entertaining and not to be insulting. He j- even jokes about school shootings. 
which was very funny, that it's a white people's game, which I totally agree. <laughs> because I never once thought about, I'm going to kill everybody in my school. <laughs> he had some, oh, this one joke, this one joke about rape, he got a ton of shit for it. But it's so funny. He's saying, I'm at my show, and I make a joke about rape, I don't remember what it was. <clears throat> and a woman stands up crying, she goes, I was raped. And she's making a big scene, and she's storming out. And uh, Dave goes, ma'am, it's not my fault. It's not your fault you were raped. But it's not my fault either. Ta-ta, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what can you do? It's funny. You gotta, I, obviously, you got to watch the show. I'm just You got to watch it, it, and I think it's just so dumb that we're even having to defend some... Like, it's a, it's all a comedy bit. Can we put it in perspective? Well, it's funny. He's not writing a manifesto. No. The funny thing is, is that he completely um, created... He gave them the bait. He really baited them. Because I think, mm -hmm. first of all, it just helps him when people start talking about how offensive it is. And it's really not. And he's kind of just lampooning now at this point. Just yeah. how <laughs> obscenely predictable these people mm -hmm. are. Right. I swear to God, I was like, they're not going to take the time. <laughs> but sure enough, it's like the cor the choir of, of offendables come in at the perfect moment. And I think he really just goofed on them all. Because it's really not that offensive. And he just played them for the free PR. And really just a commentary on them. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend Dave Chappelle's. Yeah. By the way, it's called Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's what it's from. Which is what parents mm -hmm. tell kids... Mm -hmm. And they go to school like, hey, yeah. words are just words. They can't hurt you. Yeah. And so, once again, he's saying, hey, guys, just sticks and tones. Nope. Anyway, let's get Zach in here. Let's, let's get the mayonnaise going, Zach. Come here. We got $500 on the line. As he's setting up, I've got one more video I want to show you Wait, guys. Wait, so he's going to do it here? Yeah. I don't know why I thought he would do it there. No, we got to get it. Another country. Wait. And right? We got the, are we set up here, Dan? So as we get ready, I want to show you this new Joe Biden brain melting. This Wait, is... you want to do it out here? No, in here. In there? Yeah. Okay, we'll bring it in. So Joe Biden couldn't remember Obama's name. Oh, man, when I saw this, I was like, oh, no. Listen to this. Because they invaded another country and uh, annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. Right. He's saying that it was President my boss. <laughs> It was his fault. Was Do you President believe my this boss. senile <laughs> President, my boss? Zach, come here. I think that's actually got the better camera. Right here, Zach. Okay, Zach. So we've got $500 on the line. <laughs> you got to finish the whole jar. How many calories are in that? Let me see. So one, two. So, wow. There's 600 or 60 servings, and it's 110 calories per serving. So do the math on that. 6,000? 6,000. <laughs> I'm, I'm more worried about the carbs than that. There's not a lot of carbs. So I, it's all keto. So I'm so good. you're good. I'm good, man. <laughs> 6,000 <laughs> calories. I'm all good, baby. <laughs> I'm rocking. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, really good nice. Okay, so, so what we're doing here is the Mayo Challenge. We're, we have $500 on the line if you can finish it. Do you think you'll be able to finish it? I'm, I'm going in. I'm just going to look at... The cover of this. <laughs> you're gonna pretend you're eating that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so I think you're gonna get like five bites. Oh, I think you might even just get two, if I'm being honest. If I do this, I won't take your money. I'm doing this for the show. No, I'm gonna pay you. I won't give you the. You earn it, man. <gasps> Can we open this? Yeah, this is. There we go. How's it smell? Take a smell. Is this the good stuff? Is this the mayonnaise of choice? The regular schmegula. The real mayo. <laughs> oh, you got the. Oh, he got us the Kroger shit. Yeah, got this is store oh brand. <laughs> <God>. Already. <laughs> All right. So cheers. There we go. <laughs> you definitely getting the five hundred if you finish that, bro. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. He's in two, three bites. Wow. We slowing down. He's thinking about it twice now. Can I have water with this? No. 
the water will slow it down too much, I'm afraid. You're actually doing really good. Yeah, I'm impressed. Fuck, That's man. impressive. Four full... Go ahead, take your time. <clears throat> Four huge spoons, man. It's gonna make me fucking... Wait, I think he had three, no? Oh, uh, well, whatever. He's gotta finish <laughs> it all. I don't wanna get this shit in my hair. Yeah, I don't want mayo in your hair either. Oh my goodness, he's I'm, doing good. <laughs> I'm impressed. Holy <laughs> fucking crap. I thought you were just gonna How do like... How much is left in there? Nah, you're all, you still have like three fourths left. <laughs> I feel like you could do it though. <laughs> Can I get a water? I, I brought it. <laughs> it's up to Ethan. Maybe but not not. I don't want it to slow it down too much. No, I won't slow it down. Okay. It's a, it's a you get one. You get one. Yeah. S- five bites, one sip. It's a little sippy. Okay, there you go. Okay. Keep it. Keep it going. No, um... Dude, this is how's it rate up against horsey sauce? Ian. It's better than horsey sauce. <laughs> you want to cut to our backup plan? Is there any chance you might Just puke? In case of a gag. Nah. I don't know if we can show him vomiting. We'll probably get uh, no. Hate, hate no. Hate I'll leave the room if that happens. You guys want some? Let's see it. Go ahead. <laughs> Eating it like fucking cereal, my dude. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Walk me through this. How does it taste? How does it feel? I feel like okay. <laughs> what are Uh-oh. you feeling right now? A little gag. It's a little bit. You feeling uh, nauseous? She gagged too. It's okay. She did? She did. After like four ba <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I can do anymore. How much did we get? <sighs> Let me see. We're like halfway. Let me see. We're like I mean, that's half. I have to tell You're you, I'm, I'm impressed. Oh. <laughs> I'm impressed. Man. Oh my god, you might be able to do a Guinness record. Oh shit! Like if you actually Post tried. <laughs> now, what I'd like to know, are you are you you're tapping out? Okay. I'm well, congratulations. <laughs> nice. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I would like to report back when you have a dump later. I want to know about that. You want pictures? No, no pictures. <laughs> but I want to know how you're feeling. Okay. Tell me about you. You know. Okay. I mean, it did half. I mean, if two packs of horsey sauce gets you. Yeah, but who knows what's in that, you know? <laughs> Ooh. Wow, I've never done that before. That was gnarly. Well, this this is this is good entertainment, folks. This is what we do here. That was Cheers. impressive. Cheers. To the H3 podcast. <laughs> to, to Zach, the heroic Zach. Um, well, it's TGIF. Cheers. If everyone's got a bu- bucket of mayonnaise at home, take a shot. <laughs> You know, enjoy. It's Friday, man. Live a little. <laughs> We've got some uh, veggie grill backstage that I'm dying to get to. You gonna be? You do you feel managed? fine? Like you're stomach? I'm okay. I mean, you I want to keep going. I could try. You want to keep going? <laughs> you got a second one. I could try, man. You got a second I think one? I need some more water, though. <laughs> See this whole water thing. <sighs> Yeah, I well, think that how... water messes it up. If you have a second one, you can keep trying, but I, I it's gotta, you gotta commit now. Do I get two fifty for finishing half? No, I made it very clear to you, Zach, <laughs> in the beginning. I said 500 or nothing. <laughs> Fuck. You guys call it. Should I take another bite? Dude, you have all the time you need. <laughs> if you have a second... Oh, but you, you got the veggie grill out there. I don't want to, like, make this it... This is... Hey, we're here to entertain. Oh, no, we're enjoying. Yeah, we're here to entertain. Um, but, but, I would, I would urge you, here? unless you think you can finish it, I don't want you to punish Ugh. yourself for nothing. No, I can't finish it. Okay. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. I'm tapping out. I'm sorry. Well, I failed you. No, you didn't fail me. No. You did great. You did great. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think you would make it yeah. to like half of that. Uh, you want to guess? You want to take a? No. Nope. I can't even. Are smell you gonna it. put some on your sandwich? Uh, sure. You will. Home, I'll yeah. put some on too. Yeah. I love mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, love for mayonnaise. <laughs> no, I still. You know, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> Here we go. He's going in for another bite. Another bite. <laughs> <laughs> the texture must be awful. You're not loving that. <laughs> You're not loving that. Mm. <laughs> that's glorious. <laughs> it's like freedom. <laughs> um, well, that's all we have for you guys today. <laughs> nice. We came, we saw, we ate mayonnaise, we slammed. <laughs> what, I mean, what more is there to do in an episode? <laughs> We've done it all. TGIF, have a great Friday. Congratulations right. to Zach. He made it happen. This one goes up. This intro is dedicated to Zach.
Zach's in the house. Do you guys have any Zach sound bites? We don't. They don't dare. So we gotta work on that. They don't dare. <laughs> Zach makes his sound bite himself. We need him like munching a man. <laughs> or something of him like just wanting to eat something. I'd eat that. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get up now. I'm hungry. Thanks for watching. All this mayonnaise eating got me Thanks, all everybody. hungry. See you next week. <laughs>